And now UEN proudly presents Cheese Cubed. Three tasty bits of cheese knowledge in one compact package. First, it's cheese by the numbers. Today's number is zero. That's the fat percentage of skim milk. More U.S. consumers are switching to non-fat or low-fat milk, but cheese consumption is rising. Like milk through a strainer, these are the ways of our cheese. In this week's segment, scientist Dr. Brian Neumer answers your question. Is it safe to make cheese from unpasteurized milk? Uh, it is, and uh, under certain conditions. And so, the uh, let's start with pasteurization, and what exactly that is. And uh, pasteurization is applying heat to milk to kill uh, potentially dangerous microorganisms. And there's just enough heat added, uh, and those are destroyed, which makes the milk safe to drink. And so, unpasteurized milk will rely only on the sanitation of the dairy to keep those microorganisms out and that's never a 100% uh, method. So unpasteurized milk is also called raw milk and you can make cheese with that uh, and approximately 50 years ago the USDA uh, decided that uh, raw milk cheeses uh, themselves were dangerous because those potential pathogens, the bad bacteria that could cause illness would be present. But after 60 days of aging then that cheese became much more safe and so the USDA now has a regulation uh, that prohibits raw milk cheeses that are under 60 days old. And uh, individual states are allowed uh, to modify that. For example, in the state of Utah, uh, individual dairies can uh, apply to sell raw milk cheese or raw milk and there are certain requirements that they have to do. and uh, if they fulfill those requirements and people understand there is a risk with uh, potential bacteria, then they're allowed to uh, purchase those products. So as cheese ages, there's a development of acid and other byproducts, uh, as well as the bacteria that, uh, the good bacteria that ferment the cheese. And as these grow and develop and produce these byproducts, uh, especially the acid, it, it will kill those potentially uh, harmful microorganisms. I'm Brian Neumer and I'm a food microbiologist and I help keep cheese safe. And now it's time for the queso quiz. Test your cheese knowledge. What is thermalization? A. Hotter than pasteurization. B. Cooler than pasteurization. C. Wrapping cheese in warm cloth. The answer is B. Thermalization is a process of heating treated milk for 15 seconds prior to cheese production, a shorter and cooler process than pasteurization. Cheese Cubed is a tasty bit of cheesy knowledge brought to you by Utah Education Network with support from Cache Valley Cheese, DSM Food Specialties, Schreiber Foods, Gosner Foods Incorporated, and the Western Dairy Center. Learn more at uen.org tv.